Hello gorgeous, welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new and if you are new it would mean so much if you guys click the subscribe button to join my YouTube family. I do upload every Tuesdays and Thursdays and turn on the bell to be notified every single time those videos drop. But today we are doing the water challenge. Recently I've been doing a ton of fitness challenges. I just did the jump rope challenge which I will link down below for you guys. And honestly, these are helping me to stay on track, stay motivated. And I've been wanting to do this water challenge for a while now. And I was just at the dollar store last weekend and I found this one gallon water bottle. But when I saw it, that was it. We knew we were doing this video. I have been wanting to try drinking a gallon of water every single day for a week and document my results. I'm just curious to see if I get any benefits from drinking this much water a day. I have to say my water game isn't the strongest but I'm hoping this will put me in a good healthy habit of drinking a lot more water than I do every single day. Water has been said to give so many benefits including helping with weight loss, energy to help clear your skin, helping with your muscles and your joints to give lubrication. So there's just amazing benefits said to come from drinking a gallon of water a day. So I'm gonna see how it goes. I'm really curious to see how it helps with my overall feeling if I do get any weight loss or feel less bloated or I'm also really curious to see how my skin looks after seven days because I do struggle with acne so hopefully this will help my skin out a lot I went ahead this morning and filled this up this literally is a workout just holding this up it is so so heavy and I'm sure I'm gonna have to go to the washroom a lot but I will document with you guys throughout the days on how my progress is going so let's take the first sip of today cheers <laughs> this is double the size of my head it is still the morning like I said so I'm gonna try and finish this by the end of the day I'm not gonna try we're gonna do it we're gonna finish this by the end of the day I'm going to keep you guys updated on how I feel see if it also helps my energy and if I even notice a difference or if it just does nothing at all stay tuned to see my results at the end of the video day one let's go It is low-key so hard to drink out of this massive water bottle. It is currently 3.28 and I'm already more than halfway done. I'm actually pretty impressed so far for day one. Cue already the frequent washroom trips. I've already been to the washroom way too many times. So far, it's been going well for the first day. I'm already a little over, I'd say halfway done, and it's going good. Obviously, I don't see any results as of yet, but I will keep you guys updated for the rest of the week. I feel like for sure I'll be able to finish this by today. Last sip of the night. Maybe one more. <laughs> It is currently the end of the night. It is 9.47 p.m. And I just finished, I just finished day number one. It was actually not as hard as I thought it was gonna be, so I'm kinda happy about that. I will catch you guys on day number two. <laughs> Day number two. Okay. It is currently a day two of the water drinking challenge. And as you can tell, I really haven't drank too much. It's early afternoon. We have to get going on drinking more. Today I woke up feeling honestly probably the same. I feel like I'm a little bit more energetic, but I don't know if that's just in my head or if I genuinely feel more energetic because of the water. But so far I haven't noticed too many results. Today we will see how I feel after. It's so hard to drink out of this water bottle at the beginning of the day because it's so freaking heavy. Oh, and PS, don't judge the repeated sweater that I wore last night. Um, it's a little rough. I am currently in the process of packing up and moving. So I'm working with what I got. <laughs> Just wanted to give a quick update. I'm working on it. I definitely think I'll be fine by the end of the night. 
I felt a little bit more energetic during the day, but it being 5.30 right now, I'm definitely really tired. Could go for a nap, but we are not gonna do that. Honestly, I've been like kind of hungry today, so it hasn't really helped with my cravings, to be honest. I've had really bad cravings, and even though I'm drinking so much water, it still hasn't really like helped with that. So just wanted to throw that in. I will update you guys probably one more time tonight and then catch you again tomorrow. And tomorrow I'm actually going to the new house to continue painting. I have some work coming for the house, so I have to be there tomorrow morning. So you guys will probably catch me there. I'm probably gonna have to finish, drink my water over there. It is currently 8.30, which is a bit earlier than yesterday, and I'm already done it. Day number two complete. Day number three. So I am currently at my new house, and we are painting. Um, it's been like probably week three of painting now. We are finally doing the upstairs painting. This room is still not painted, but we are still continuing the water challenge here, and I'm getting to a late start. This is what happens when you get so busy. Is anyone like me where you like forget to drink water so I thought I would open it right now and take my first sip oh, this is so heavy I'm going to continue drinking now that I am a little more settled I feel actually a little better um, I've been a little bit more energetic this week especially in the mornings I don't know if it's because of the drinking more water but maybe cheers it is currently 5.23 and I have about halfway of my water bottle done. Good morning guys, so I am currently moving today and I actually already started drinking my water so I thought I would throw a quick update. It is day number four and it is still in the morning and I started. I thought I would get an early start just because I don't know, I'm gonna be really busy today so it's gonna be hard to keep up with all the water drinking but we're gonna do it and I'm gonna document it. I've been feeling actually a lot more energetic. Let me put down this 20 pound weight. But yeah, today I feel actually energetic. I am ready to go. Every single morning lately I've been feeling very energetic. Energetic. We're just gonna have to say now at this point that it is probably due to the water because to be honest I had no energy for like the longest time. So with that being said, I gotta go move now. <laughs> Updates currently at the new house in the process of moving in. I've been drinking a little bit more water, not too much. I've been getting distracted, but keeping up with it. I think I will totally do it by the end of the night. To be honest, I'm still a little bit thirsty at the end of the night and I end up drinking a little bit more. All moved in. It's 11.14 currently, and I finally finished my water for day four. Bottle complete. Good morning guys. So today is currently day six. It's the second last day and yesterday I barely filmed because to be honest I wasn't feeling too good and I was really tired from the move. Just filmed the morning and when I finished it at night. I am just gonna go fill up my water for the day and continue drinking it. I have to say I'm pretty proud I finished it all the last couple of days because I've been a lot more busier and I find when I'm busy I don't drink as much water so this really held me accountable to continue to drink a good amount of water every single day. It is currently 9.14 and I just finished, so I actually finished a little bit earlier than normal. I'm probably gonna end up drinking a little more because I'll probably be thirsty right before I go to bed. Good morning, guys. Don't mind the mess. I just woke up and I filled up my jug. This is the last full day of this challenge, which I'm so, so excited to talk to you guys about my results at the end, but I just want to do a quick update and tell you guys that I'm already on my grind and drinking my water.
Today is gonna be a busy day, so I'm gonna have to bring my water jug with me. I'll probably update you guys when I finish, and then I'll do the results. Last day complete at 10.22 p.m. Oh yeah. Don't mind the mess in the background. I am currently in the process of moving. That was my entire week of drinking a gallon of water. Let's get into the results. I actually wrote some notes on my phone. I'm surprised by the results and like what I felt. I actually had no problem drinking a gallon every day. And a lot of the times by the end of the night, I still went ahead and filled up an extra cup of water because I just felt Felt like I was still thirsty and wanting water which shocked me because I genuinely thought this was gonna be the hardest thing for me to drink that much water it just motivated me to drink more water than I'm used to especially on my busy days so the first day was no problem I drank it and I was actually thirsty at the end of the night so I drank actually more water when I got more busy in the week when I was moving normally I would drink no water during those days because I'm go 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 but because I had this challenge it reminded me that I I had to drink my water so I really liked that because it got me into the habit of wanting to drink more and drinking water is said to have so many health benefits so this kind of motivated me and kept me on track I'm currently still sipping on water I don't have to lug around that huge gallon water bottle anymore and I've just been refilling it up and it kind of got me in the habit now of keeping up with drinking water throughout my day so I definitely have to give that to the challenge because it put me into a better mindset mindset when it comes to drinking enough water throughout the day. First, I didn't feel like I saw any results until near more the end of the week. So some of the things I saw that was beneficial is that I was actually less bloated when waking up for some reason. I just felt a little bit more comfortable in my skin. My stomach just felt a lot more flatter as you can see in the clips and I felt a lot better. I didn't necessarily lose a ton of weight or anything like that. You can't lose a ton of weight by just drinking one gallon of water throughout the day, but I stayed pretty consistent in my weight. I just felt less bloated, which I really enjoyed. Another benefit that I saw that I loved was it definitely helped my skin out. So I struggle with acne, as you guys know, and of course this isn't gonna be a cure-all. You can kinda see a difference that my skin did clear a little bit, of course, I still have pimples and I still struggle with acne, but I really like the results in just seven days of drinking that much water. So that's why I'm also going to really try to continue to keep on my water game because I want to see if I keep this going, if it will help my skin even more. It's probably my two favorite things. Other little things I found was I was going to the washroom a little bit more, of course, especially at the beginning of the week. I have to say near the end of the week, I started to feel more energetic. So at first I was thinking I was feeling more energetic because it was just like maybe in my head, but I definitely did feel more energetic, especially in the morning. Like I woke up in the morning with no problem, which was really a hard thing for me this year for almost all of the year. I felt so lethargic and exhausted every single day in the morning and I was able to get up early and not feel sluggish and tired like I wanna just jump back in bed. So those were all the results I noticed while drinking a gallon of water every single day. I was really shocked that I was still thirsty sometimes after the entire jug. I really didn't think I drank that much water, but maybe I do drink close to that much on a daily basis. I do know I slack a lot whenever I am busy or out on the go, which is one benefit of having that huge gallon water bottle. It's beneficial if you're out on the go and there's nowhere for you to refill your water bottle, it's good to just have all your water in that one jug. I got it from the dollar store and I totally recommend to have a jug that big just for those times so that you're stocked up and you're ready with your water. But that is my results for the seven day challenge. I'm thinking of doing a stair challenge. Let me know if you guys want to see that and if you want to see my results for that. Thumbs it up if you like this video. It really helps me out. I will link my other challenges down below and at the end of this video. Definitely go check out those ones. Those ones are you're going to notice a bigger difference in the results in my body in comparison to the results in this one. I hope you guys are having an amazing day, evening, or night. Whenever you're watching this, don't forget to subscribe. I do upload every Tuesdays and Thursdays and turn on the bell to be notified every single time I do upload. Hopefully, uh, I will get a little bit more settled in the new home so I can have a cool back around one day things backlogged and um, I'm living in an empty house right now so we love that we got to continue with the fitness challenges and it, it will be good catch you guys in my next video bye